How come you won't pray, Zephyr? You know that God is always watching us, don't you, Zephyr? What does it matter whether I pray or not? Nothing changes. You're wrong. Things do change, and we grow by overcoming the obstacles God places in our path. What was that? You'll listen when I talk to you! The people of the Inquisition will have you hanging by You're your neck! You're a disgrace! He your parents must be ashamed of you! corrupted his soul! He doesn't even have any parents! His problem. That time again already. Ah, he was the same way last year. Today's the day Zephyr and I first met. Where are you going? To pay my respects. I'm coming too. <laughs> you might regret it.
Zephyr's gone today. I don't know what we'll do without him. He's... Out of my way. I'm not moving. It's no good. How can there be a god in a world with people like me? Do you... Do you really think God will save you? I know he will. But whatever happens, whatever may come, I'll accept the fate that he gives me. Fate? I'm not ready to accept fate! The scriptures I gave you, keep them with you. This place is a mess. They taught theology here once. I don't want to know. These are the same halls I walked that day. This is it. The place we first met. What? You met here? That's right. Wait. He wasn't a victim? Hardly. Kind of ironic, don't you think? A murderer like me bringing flowers to a grave. But it seems the thing to do. I don't know if I can face him. I'm afraid I won't be able to look at him the way, the way I did before. Sure, half the time he's sulking or saying something zawless. That's how he is. I know that. But I don't want to hate him. I came here to end the standoff. <laughs> I shot him. What? But... he didn't die. I don't... How, how did this happen? I don't know much more than you. Why do some live while others die? <laughs> Sometimes I think he'd be happier if he had died here. But... that's really not for me to say. The only thing that matters is 
what's in your heart, right? Why didn't you wake me up? It's almost noon. Where's my breakfast? <clears throat> there was a time when our bodies contained the mechanism to regulate cell division. It was the breakdown of this process that caused cancer. Cancer? A disease that ravaged the human population long ago. Cancer no longer occurs in modern humans, humans under Zenith's control. But another way of looking at cancer is as a sort of cellular immortality. Of course, there were attempts to scientifically remove the associated risk of death and of aging. Doing so would have left only the positive effects, namely immortality. <laughs> when quartz breaks, the effect is instantaneous aging. Perhaps it's only a similar process, but the result is still death. Are you suggesting we're a disease that's killing Zenith? I'm saying that maybe Zenith is our cancer. How perfect is your judgment? Does it never falter? Does it never err? I know it's never had room for emotion. I don't let feelings cloud my judgment either. How could I? Now... I think it's time to find a place where those feelings belong. Farewell, my lord. I came to say goodbye, not as a cardinal, but as a friend. What do you say? Just like old times?
well aged. A good bottle. You should know you gave it to me. As a cardinal, I let myself get too caught up in the little things. Don't be too hard on yourself. What could be smaller than the troubles between two people? You're right. All we've ever done is choose between good and evil, as it suits us. That's why there's nothing I want more than to kill him! <laughs> These aren't ruins. God walks among us here. If you think God bothers to meddle in human lives, You'll never find a place for those feelings. Which is why I folded my wings. I want to fall. He's gone. Rowan, is this really what you wanted? How can I turn him from the same path that I've chosen for myself? Well, isn't this a surprise? What's it been, one? Two years? <laughs> what brings you by? Here on business? I'm looking for a boy named Zephyr. It's my understanding you've taken him in. Oh, I don't think he's around, actually. Yeah, I remember him saying something about uh, going on a trip. <laughs> so, what did you need? I'll be sure to give him the message. I never stopped investigating the incident. There are some loose ends that need tying. That's in the past. Your god passed his judgment on that a long time ago. God. <laughs> I think I may have come around to your way of thinking on that. I haven't come to you as a cardinal in service of his god. I'm here as an ordinary man. Well then, I don't see much reason to let you in. So you judge him worthy of life? Kill me now then while you have a chance. The next time we meet, we'll be enemies. Or maybe we can come to an arrangement. If it's money you want, name your price! I don't judge him. Zephyr! Do you still have the scriptures, boy? We have much to discuss, you and I. There's a bridge nearby. Meet me there and we'll talk. Just the two of us. Bashron, I can't find Zephyr. <laughs> So, he went. Well, aren't we going to go help him? He made his bed. Let him lie in it. Are you serious?
I'm glad you came, Zephyr. Do you remember me? I was the witness assigned to your execution. My name is Lagerfeld. I was once Cardinal of the Tenth Diocese of Chandelier. I've come to bury the grief of the bereaved and the dead. And if I'm lucky, my own. Mass had finally started when, from the far end of the hall, a muffled scream rang out. It had begun. Don't. We arrived 20 minutes later. When I saw the carnage that awaited us, it was beyond all imagining. Tell me! What did the girl slumped in the corner of the alcove say before she died? The explosion wreaked such damage, many of corpses were beyond recognition. How should we mark their graves? The mother of a boy whose body was riddled with bullets said she could forgive you. Tell me, why did you live while they died? Is your life worth more than theirs? It sickens me to even look at you. Your life is a blasphemy. Your very existence shakes the foundation of faith. Only your death will satisfy me. Something very interesting, Zephyr. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm only here to kill you. This battle is just a pretense to tell you the truth. What truth? Zephyr, you may have been misguided, but you were never alone.
man. Why? You idiot! You wanted to die, didn't you? Wouldn't it be better that way? Uh, I should be dead. You think that can make up for what you did? Not even close! <laughs> Going to die. At least die with courage. Why am I? Why am I even alive? If you hadn't been there, I'd be dead. Isn't that enough? I want. Yeah. I want Leanne to be happy. Fair enough. Then I can die. I know the Cardinals do not follow me unconditionally. It is because you have placed your trust in me that others lend me their support. I hadn't realized. That's just as well. It's enough that you go on being yourself. I don't know what I'd do without you. Centurion was a trusted ally, a true friend, with a shared vision for our future. Now, it grows more distant with each passing day. Lagerfeld is gone, too. The Cardinal's been scattered on the wind. He will never be as it was in Frida's day again. You're even less pleasant today than you usually are. Even that eccentric maniac Gabriano pledged his loyalty to Frida. You loved her, didn't you? I did. Lagerfeld and Turian, that freak Gabriano. She, she brought them all into her dream. Her dream of a world of everlasting happiness. I was so close to being utterly alone. I don't know what I would have done without you. What's with this? This is our first job on our own. It's time for us to make our mark. We can pick which jobs we take. And I picked this one. Oh, how good to see you both again! Jean Paulet! At your service. Jean Paulet. Jean Paulet. Such beauty. I couldn't ask for a more perfect surrogate to play my blushing bride. The situation's just as I told you. There's been a threat made against my wife. Someone plans to kidnap her at our wedding, won't you? Trouble with an ex? Yes, actually. I even hear he spent a great sum of money calling in some big guns for the attack! What do we do? You're going to be decoys at a fake wedding here, where the ceremony was originally to be held. 
Meanwhile, my bride and I will enter into holy matrimony in a safe, undisclosed location! <laughs> what a tool. You didn't forget, did you? Today's the day. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Everything's ready to go. You remember your assignment, where you need to go? Sure. That place in Chandelier. I forget the name, but yeah, I know it. You need me to crash some wedding and kidnap your ex-girlfriend, right? Yes. I'm counting on you. <sighs> you know, I'm beginning to understand why she dumped you. Hey! We've got a job to go to! Huh. Well, that's right. They had work of their own today. Uh, uh, I guess I'm gonna have to handle this one on my own.
it's not too late to run. Lucky for you, I don't think it's sporting to shoot someone in the back. Time for my big entrance! Oh, come on! That's not how it goes! Is that all you got? Is that all you got? It's not too late to run. Lucky for you, I don't think it's sporting to shoot someone in the back. show mm. boring I know Jean Paulet left us a ring sure you mean this hey Zephyr as long as we're here <laughs> are you crazy <laughs> scaredy cat I am not What about the kiss? A <laughs> kiss? Kiss? 
Not so fast. Nothing personal, but I need to borrow your bride. What? That's wrong? You and him and you. What the hell's going on? Daddy does not approve. Us? What are you doing here? Oh, this is a bit much, even for an old pro like me. But are we on different sides of the same job? How much he paying you? Get out! Oh, that's a cardinal for you. Hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves. We'll pretend the two of you beat me. Uh, you sure that wouldn't bruise your ego? Nope. I doubt anyone would believe we beat you anyway. Yeah, well, these days, you never can tell. This ring is a symbol. It is a symbol of Zenith's vow of eternal loyalty to you. How does it feel? How does it feel to have a god at your command? I look forward to seeing the fruit your research has borne. Of course. But first, there's something I want to tell you. What could you possibly need to tell me now? Something you, as a cardinal, must know all too well. Tell me, what is written in the last book of the scriptures? The death of God Sybil. Very good. And what else? The Sybil's... rebirth? The second coming? A subject well worth pursuing, don't you think? Bastard! You'd use our dead prelate for a shield? You mustn't think that I don't trust you, Rowan. But once I've told you how to use the key, I'll only be a nuisance who knows your secrets. You understand. You mean... Frida could be reborn? No. That's impossible. I can't accept it. I won't! Mind you, nothing is certain. I speak only of possibilities. The possibility of a true miracle. A miracle? We should be going. Zenith awaits. Of course I'll show you how to use the key. That's an awfully strange request. Eh, it's from Teresa. She usually has someone else do it. It sounds like fun. Think of the smiles on their faces. Come on, kids are always happy when they get presents. If you ask me, 
I think it sets a bad precedent. You think so? Well, <sighs> works work, isn't it? Then it's decided. We'll be handing out presents this Christmas. Any objections? You're serious about this? I am. No backing out. Don't test me. Right then. We'll put the holly and the jolly into this show. They won't know what hit them! Easy! Let's not get carried away. Ridiculous! You? What about me? Oh no. Sorry. I guess I really didn't think this through. <sighs> I hope you'll forgive me. I know this is no easy task. Don't be silly. They're enjoying themselves. All right, troops! Showtime! Uh, this skirt's too short. Now all we need is a trampoline. What did you say? I said the hem looks really keen. Merry Christmas! Oh, I wonder what's inside! There's plenty for everybody! Wow! Major score! Daddy knows what you want. How about one of these? is coming to town. What is it? What is it? Merry Christmas! Come laughing it up. Time to throw the kitchen sink at him. Try not to get anyone killed. I don't know. These corners are sharp. Merry Christmas. Plenty for everybody.
How about with each? Here you go! Daddy knows what you want. Wow! Major score! Merry Christmas! What is it? What is it? There's play for everybody! This is the coolest thing ever! On it. Merry Christmas! Oh, I take it, you brigand. Here you go. How about one of these? Santa's coming to town. What is it? What is it? Merry Christmas! Hope you like it! It's funny, but I'm more nervous on this job than I've ever been. Remember, it's just for show. Think of all the people we'll make happy. That's the spirit. Our little Leanne making grown-up dreams come true. There's plenty for everybody. Merry Christmas! <laughs> Here you go! What is it? What is it? Merry Christmas! It's just what I wanted! Hope you like it! How about one of these? Oh, I'll take it, you brigand. This is the coolest thing ever! Take good care of it. There's plenty for everybody. Wow, major score. How about one of these? I wonder what's inside! Merry Christmas! Catch! Here you go! 
plenty for everybody. That's perfect. You're an absolute vision. An angel come down from heaven. <sighs> I can barely move in this thing. Moving's not important. Satisfying the client is. Enjoyed that. Oh? I thought I detected a hint of murder on the air. About time we wrapped this up, if you ask me. What you want? Wow! Major score. Here you go. Merry Christmas. There's plenty for everybody. Wow! Major score. Oh, I'll take it, you brigand. How about one of these? Santa's coming to town. Ta -da! Here you go. <gasps> I wonder what's inside. Addy knows what you want. What is it? What is it? Merry Christmas. Oh, I'll take it, you brigand. Hey, hey, over here. How about one of these? Merry Christmas! What is it? What is it? There's plenty for everybody! Santa's coming to town! Do I really get a present? Oh, I'll take it, you brigand! Daddy knows what you want. What is it? What is it? Catch!
That had the little ones laughing. They're harder to hit than they look. Wouldn't it have been easier to deliver this the old-fashioned way? like the Pied Piper. What's that? Leading them all to their doom? Oh, Zephyr, I never! About time we wrapped this up, if you ask me. Christmas. <gasps> I wonder what's inside. Here you go. Oh, I take it, you brigand. Wow, mega score. How about one of these? Daddy knows what you want. Wow! Major score! Epa's coming to town. It's just what I wanted! Here you go. Oh, I take it, you brigand. There's plenty for everybody. Daddy knows what you want. Thank you, thank you, thank you!
hope you like it. for you. Merry Christmas and a happy birthday. Oh, you remembered. How could I forget? After all, it is the day we, you know, uh, we met. Yeah, it is. Well, and besides, <laughs> it's, a, it, it's an easy day to remember. Thank you so much. The children had a wonderful time. If you'd like, you're all welcome to join me for the Christmas Mass at the Cathedral. I thought that was a Cardinal-only affair. Well, I can bring my friends, can't I? I could even introduce you to some of the other Cardinals. You never know. It might be good for business. Oh, um, do you think Cardinal Rowan will be there? You aim straight for the top, huh? He looks forward to this service above all others. I'm sure he'll be there.
Merry Christmas. What's going on? What do you think you're doing? Let her go, please. The research is done. We have our results. I don't need to tell you this. It's her life. Let her live the last year of it. You watch your tongue, Yuris! I want to see that world. A world where people live life as they want to. Let her go. Her fate is the same either way. All finished here? Let's go home. How? How is she still alive? It was even her? Number 20. Or was it something else? She reborn, resurrected. Sullivan, what have you been hiding from me? It was Christmas Day when you set me free. Why did you lie to me? Did your experiments turn out the way you'd hoped? I'm the only one of the 20 who's still alive, aren't I? You okay? Don't want to catch another cold. Thanks. I'll be careful. We may only have been experiments, but you treated us like people. Why? Why try to run away with me when you knew how dangerous it was? We spent that last Christmas together alone, just the two of us. I wonder how you're doing. I wonder if you even know I survived. I'm alive. I've tried, but I can't get through to Sullivan. What did the laboratory report? Well, all 20 pieces of quartz were shattered. They're certain that the 20th is real. They're certain that Leanne's quartz is real. It may be some time until we're sure. <sighs> if 
If I didn't know any better, I'd say Sullivan was hiding from us. Were his experiments a failure from the start? What's he been doing all this time? He wouldn't. Rebirth? The resurrection? Who know. What in the name of God is going on? Am I being punished for my lack of faith? Am I being punished for losing my way? You're being too hard on yourself. You've made great sacrifices. You've done so much. I need you to tell me. Tell me what you really think, Veronique. Should I have chosen to follow dream or reality? As of today, all phases of the project are complete. I'm shutting down this facility. What are you talking about? You're free to go. In fact, the sooner you're gone, the better. I don't understand. Why wasn't I told of this sooner? Rowan's mobilized his troops. They will be here any moment. Why would they come here? To eliminate us, I should think. Why? I don't know what you were trying to do here. But whatever it was, I'm as guilty as you are. In all good conscience, I should stay. Why would you want to do that? I don't think Rowan is in any position to pass judgment on you. Maybe not. Let's just say I'm staying to fulfill an old promise. Then this is goodbye. Dangerous place for a lady to be walking all by herself. Care to hire some hunters? We deliver wine, help make statues, even stop the odd terrorist. Please, don't try to stop me. My mind's already made up. I appreciate all you've done, Vacheron. You kept your distance and gave me time to think things through. And of course you too, Zephyr. 
If it wasn't for you, I'd never have thought about going to see Professor Gures. Professor? There's something I want to tell him. <laughs> oh, believe me, that's way too much trouble. They're not gonna let you just waltz right in there. You gonna kidnap him? Go in guns a blazing? Not very ladylike. Would you just stop already? I'm gonna lose my nerve. <laughs> You're just going to pay him a visit, right? Leanne, how do you know he's even still alive? I don't. But his chances of surviving were probably better than mine. Well, no more rain to hide those tears. Come on, let's go have a look. Time's a wasting. Thank you. Just as we left it. As though time stood still. W what the hell happened here? They've all been slaughtered like pigs! It's horrible! Who would do this? It could be the break we need. Come on.
whatever's happening isn't good. I just hope yours is all right. Hang on a little longer. We'll find him. I promise. I'd venture to say Sullivan and Rowan had a little falling out. Fine with me. I don't trust either one of them. But if they did anything to Eurus, they'll regret it. Zephyr, Vacheron, all the courage I have, I owe to you. Strong lead! <laughs> Whatever's happening, it isn't good. I just hope yours is all right. Something a little nicer for us. I danced everyone to sleep.
Wipe that worried look off your face. I'll try. We'll have this lot on the run in no time. in a trap! Time to kick some ass.
Waste of time. Even Leanne could handle this. You only live once. The first enemy you underestimate could be your last. Once bitten, twice shy. A lesson Zephyr could stand to learn.
Let me show you what I got. you get this is no time for fun and games
Gat. This is no time for fun and games.
before they have a chance to regret it. Someone's coming! That's the professor's room! Get out of the way! trouble while you're asleep, so will you take now somewhere close by? Sure, if you like. You big liar! <laughs> but you will come to visit on my next birthday, right? Yes. Of course. Wrong again. Cause I'll be coming to visit you. has happened. I, I don't even know where to start. I jumped. I was saved. They've been so nice. I've, it's been so much fun and I've learned so much. But yeah? whenever I think about the past, it gets so hard. I'm so scared and I can't, I can't, I can't make myself forget this you. It's impossible. It can't be her. It can't. <laughs> Leanne, if this is really you, there's so much I have to tell you. So much I have to say sorry for. I can't. No, I didn't come here hoping for an apology. Things happened that we wish hadn't. It's true for everyone. I know that now. But there's something I want to tell you. 
I'm all right. I'm going to be all right. I'm gonna kill the first one of you who looks me in the eye. Don't worry, little one. We'll meet again beyond the walls of Basel. Listen to me, if I'm late for our rendezvous. I want you to take this quartz and destroy it.
It's a whopper of a tail. Yes, well, that's the providence that guides our world. I'm not sure I won't believe it, but I've seen a man die under more or less those circumstances. The quartz in the lab was definitely shattered. If it wasn't Leanne's, Sullivan is the only person who could have swapped it out. So it's Sullivan. Where is he? I don't know. We could search his estate. Might find some clues there. We could pretend we never heard this. Just go on the way we have. Everything could be fine. Yes. It's possible. This is her life! I'm not as cool as Vacheron, but I'm not gonna turn tail and run from the truth! A stone breaks, and a person dies? I guess I'm too stupid to understand. <laughs> You're a scientist! Maybe you can explain it to me! There is no reason she should have to die. I don't understand! If they're gonna kill someone, it should be me! Why am I still alive? What's wrong with this world? Where do I need to go? Because I'm going. And I'm bringing Leanne with me. And if you don't like it, I'll bash your head in right now! Well, that's that. Guess a little charity work will build character. <laughs>